now we understand the fact that uh, based on the kind of information that we have, we would be able to interpret uh, reality in certain ways. And based on the vibration, based on the frequency at which that information is vibrating on, likewise the frequency in which we vibrate in, uh, simply because we are energy itself, uh, would determine the kind of collapsible experiences that we acquire, right? So, there's two ways, uh, up until now at least, uh, that we understand of in which we can tweak reality or determine uh, the sort of experiences that we have. Number one is uh, the kind of information that we have. And that is where um, the school of thought comes in to share, introduce and explore all kinds of information from all kinds of sources without prejudice, without, um, you know, whatever biasness and things like that. And just to uh, entertain the information, entertain the thought for what it is. And the second way is in which vibration, in which frequency, uh, in which the information is vibrating at. So for example, if you've got um, 444 hertz uh, sound signature, then you would get the note A, if I'm not mistaken, one of and if you increase the vibration, if you increase the frequency in which the note vibrates in, then you would be able to um, play an A note on a much higher frequency. Uh, so it has the same information, but it's expressing itself in a higher vibration, in a higher octave. Right? So how do we raise vibrations then? This is where um, you know people have come up with all kinds of techniques and all kinds of uh, practices and rituals in which to raise uh, our vibration. Because if we were to vibrate in certain frequencies, right, then information that vibrates in similar frequencies would be open to our experience, right? And it's very the way the way I explain this is like, um, you know, ice cube, water molecules. Um, if you were to take an ice cube, right, and if you were to increase the amount of energy that's in the ice cube equation, then it will reach a certain point where the atoms, the molecules, would have enough energy in its environment to be able to break the bonds that hold the particles in place that cause it to express itself as a solid uh, object right so if you were to increase if you were to introduce heat into its environment and you would raise the absolute value of the energy that's in that ice cube equation eventually it would be able to break its bonds and be able to free itself from each other and express itself as water in a liquid state, in a more free state. And for that idea, we can apply the same analogy to our uh, own reality in which if we were to raise the amount of energy that we hold, then we would be able to break the bonds that hold our psyche in place, that hold our consciousness in a certain vibration, and be able to express ourselves in a freer state of living. 